Hi, my name's Dr. Matthew Cayley. I'm a lecturer in cell biology in the Centre for Cell Biology and Cutaneous Research at the Blizzard Institute. Uh, my research focuses on um, the skin, which is uh, the largest organ in the human body. I'm trying to understand a little bit more about how it works, and I do this by looking at patients with rare genetic skin diseases, where their skin doesn't work properly, and also looking at um, sort of normal conditions of the skin, like skin aging or, or dry skin, to try and understand what's gone wrong and whether we as uh, scientists and whether the medical profession can do something about correcting that. One of the ways we do that is by growing our own skin. And we, we need to be able to cut really thin pieces of these skin equivalents. And to do that, we use um, bits of equipment like, like this microtome, which allow us to cut sections of skin which are five microns or less thick. We embed either organotypic skin equivalents or human skin or other tissue in paraffin wax, and make these little um, tissue blocks. The paraffin wax holds the tissue in shape in the right place and allows us to cut sections from, from it. We'll mount the block in the microtome, which holds it in place, and we have a extremely sharp microtome blade um, that we, we use to cut the sections. We can set how thick we want the sections. I've set this to be in five microns. And then we can cut very, very thin slices of the wax block, which will give me very thin slices of the skin. So each one of these slices is five microns thick. We can then take them and float them on a warm water bath. This allows them to, to relax, to spread out, and allows us to mount them to microscope slides. So we want to separate the sections and just keep the nice ones. Any ones that don't look particularly nice, they've got holes in them or are missing bits of tissue we can remove. We can then use our specially coated microscope sl slides. We put them in underneath the section, allow the section to touch, and then pull them up. So we've got a nice thin tissue sections stuck to a microscope slide ready for the next step which would be staining and then imaging.